So uh, the Raggedy Hipster asked me a question that um, I've heard before, and so I wanted to do a little PSA about it. So her question was, uh, she's afraid she's going to be offline, and she wanted my permission to uh, convert m my story into a new, a new file format to take with her offline, and that is so very, very sweet to ask. Um, and uh, I just wanted to let everybody know, and, and her, but everybody know that um, there is a really easy answer to this question, um, and it is about Archive of Our Own. So Archive of Our Own is amazing, and I love it, uh, and it has this really great feature where you can download a story in a variety of different formats, specifically uh, to help you if you happen to be going offline. So in this case, it's this story she's asking about, so I will use it as an example. So if you go into the story on Archive of Our Own, you'll notice where we all do run straight for the story, but if you go up here to the top right, there's a download button, and it lets you um, download uh, any story in a variety of formats. So um, HTML, uh, which will be readable offline uh, through a browser, a PDF, which is what she was asking me about, is can she turn it into a PDF? Well, you could just download the PDF link straight from Archive of Our Own, and you don't even need to ask me about it, though it's very kind of you to do so. Um, the other two are Mobi and EPUB, and I just want to do a plug for EPUB because that is the open standard for ebooks. So basically, Archive of Our Own is allowing you to, well, it's basically creating ebooks. So you can actually download any story that you see on Archive of Our Own um, as a, a, an ebook basically. So if you, um, I, I know this works on Kindle and it works on iPad and iPhone and I haven't tried the other, I haven't tried the Android devices yet, but if you download, if you use this, this EPUB thing, unfortunately unless you have a, an EPUB reader on your computer it probably won't open on your computer, but if say you are um, an iPad or iPhone user, you can drag that document that sits on your desktop into iTunes and then sync your ebooks and it will show up on your devices as um, through uh, iBooks if you've got that which is free so and it's really kind of cool because it looks like just like any other ebook that you'd buy from Amazon or whatever else buy through iBooks um, this is it looks really nice it's actually a really nice way to read now and EPUB is being an open standard also does work on a Kindle but I don't have a Kindle so I'm not really sure how you move things across to a Kindle but that would do you have to pay to do that because that would sort of suck. But anyway, but it does actually work uh, on a Kindle. So um, I just wanted to let you know that. So um, have a great day. Bye.